Yes, exactly that. Thanks so much, Ewan. We're talking about heart awareness, but particularly in how it's formed in the first place. In fact, congenital heart defects are the most common when it comes to defects in South Africa. And one in every 100 children suffer from it. So this morning we have real life examples. We've also got our experts in as we are creating awareness on congenital heart defect awareness week. Our two special guests in studio. I must say I'm very proud to uh, have Dr. Forster on the show today, South Africa's first female heart surgeon, uh, Dr. Susan Forster, and then also from Heart of Hope, Monique Kemp. Welcome, ladies. Thank you. Thank you, Nana. Doctor, I want to get straight to it. I mean, what is a congenital heart defect? A, co a congenital heart defect is a defect that a child is born with, mm. where the heart has developed abnormally. So it's something that develops in the womb? That's correct. Okay. Is it treatable? It's, it's always treatable. <laughs> it's very rare that one cannot correct it. And um, most defects can be corrected. Some need more than one procedure. Mm. Monique, you have a son, and is he three years old now? He's five. He's five yes. already. He has oh. a heart condition. Tell me a little bit about him. He, at our, my routine 22 week scan, yeah. uh, they discovered that he has congenital heart defects. Um, he spent the better part of two years at Christian Barnard of his life recovering. He had um, seven surgeries, five major and two minor relating to CHD. Okay. Um, the first surgery he had, he was just seven days old and it took up to eight hours for them to repair the, the heart. So, so Daniel's condition, they noticed in the womb. So when you yes. went for your scan at 22 weeks, they actually noticed that there was a problem. There was, there was a, problem. a problem. Yes, okay. th that's right. That's correct. But you didn't just leave it there. I mean, Monique inspired me this morning when I read her story and realized that she wanted to assist other moms who also have a situation of CHD in their homes. You saw an opportunity to help moms. Tell me about how Heart of Hope came about. Heart of Hope really came about because of Daniel's condition. Mm. I spent many months at hospital very alone. It, it's, a, it's a long, lonely journey, CHD. And I, I just felt the need to give back to society and to create the awareness and the support around CHD to help moms and families get through this um, common yet unknown defect. You've already gone through early development stages with your baby. He's five years old now. As someone who was probably very scared at the time, I mean, at 22 weeks, all you want to be is pregnant and have a healthy baby. Yep. If you think of your journey, what has it taught you? It's taught me perseverance above all. Mm -hmm. um, no matter what, don't, don't give in to, to fact. You know, have faith and just believe in, in support and accept support. Um, you know, that is my main aim through Heart of Hope, to give that support to others. Dr. Foster, I mean, you work with fact. You, when people come to you, you need to be treating or even mm. stitching or operating. Mm. Can a child with CHD go on to live a healthy and normal life? Yes, they can, and that is why one treats them. Um, Daniel had a very exceptional um, abnormality, and he had a long way to go. But most kids are uh, corrected the first time and are healthy. The beauty of it is that a really sick child is returned to a normal life mm. where they can serve the community like like all of us. What about rugby and sport and you know kids are busy they want to be out there. Is, is one with, with CHD able to, to go on and do all those things? Some, sometimes there is a huge variety of diagnosis so mm. sometimes only a part of the hearts develop. Mm. Those kids maybe don't have the exercise tolerance to do a um, competitive sport but most things are corrected completely and kids can be normal although it's not really encouraged that they do contact sport. Monique, clearly it's, it's important to create awareness because you're a mom that's been there, you are still there. Okay. What do you want to say to other moms that need the hope that you bring? I just want to say to moms out there who discovers that their lives now revolves around CHD that there is hope. Mm. Um, there is help out there. The organizations like Heart of Hope and Heart SA um, that is there to support and to give the help and assistance and the guidance that you know we, we require through the CHD journey. Um, it's, it's, not, it's not a journey that ends, it's a continuous journey and we're there to, to support continuously. Mm. 
Well, thank you so much, Monique, Dr. Fosler. Thank really you. great meeting mm -hmm. you and having you on the show this morning. This is your Feel Good Breakfast show. You heard it, CHD Awareness Week, and that's what we're creating awareness about. If you want to lend your support, why not go to the Heart of Hope Facebook page? We'll also put details on our own Facebook page so that you continue the conversation and uh, learn more about congenital heart defects that uh, I think affects most of us. Now, later on the show, we're speaking to one of our Expresso staff members whose baby also suffered from this, uh, and we're we're bringing in more experts, particularly a fetal expert uh, that talks about defects within babies before they're even born, just like Daniel's was diagnosed. This is your Feel Good Breakfast show. There's lots more happening on the show. Ewan, what you got?